In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got my Security Plus certification in three weeks with no prior IT experience. Now, if you're here from the previous video, my Network Plus video, this video is gonna be very, very similar as far as the whole study guide plan, as far as the resources and the links that I have for y'all. But this is gonna be towards Security Plus. If you didn't see the video about the Network Plus um, guide, little bit of background about me, my name is Gilbert Sanchez. I'm here in San Antonio, Texas. I originally started off my career in cybersecurity back in, geez, feeling old. Uh, back in 2013, I started off as a cybersecurity major, but um, had some stuff going on in my life where I had to switch my major around just to graduate on time. So ended up doing what they call a multidisciplinary degree. So that is Easy way, easiest way to explain it is three minors into one major. So, so my minors were business administration, criminal justice, and math. I previously was a car salesman for on and off for about six years. I did these certifications just to get into the cybersecurity and technology field. With these certifications, I did land a SOC analyst role after six months. All right, now for the good part. So the good part is I'm going to go over this guide that I have that I created. So First and foremost, what I started off with is the Professor Messer's YouTube playlist. Now this playlist is 121 videos. It just goes over the concepts of securing an actual network. And if you're not familiar with Professor Messer, he's by far one of the standards, one of the goats, if you will, of getting into tech or these certifications. Just, to, just something about Professor Messer, he goes over the material very well, but he's just, he's straightforward. He doesn't really give any type of just real world explanations. Uh, the guy I'm about to go into next does. But um, from there, after I finished that, that took me about, I want to say about four days, maybe. After that, I jumped over to Udemy. So Udemy is just a platform for educational videos or educational courses. Andrew Romdeo has a Security Plus Udemy course. Okay, so for this course, there's 27 sections, about 255 videos. And 25 hours and 49 minutes, 26 hours of content here. And the reason why I love Andrew is just because he, he is just very thorough in his explanations. He gives real world, just real world connections. And he's, he's a great teacher, great professor. So particularly this uh, certification, the Security Plus, I went to the CompTIA website, got the Security Plus objectives. And from there, that gives you just a breakdown of everything that's going to be on the exam, uh, general information about the exam. But what I did is use this as a guide as or a study plan, if you will. And things that I didn't know, I kind of um, studied a little bit more and reviewed it. Things that I did know, I, I kind of just brushed over the information and kind of just went with that. Um, so I'm going to have links to everything that I'm talking about in the description. So it's very easy to find. After I got the objectives, I went into uh, I went back to Udemy. Uh, Andrew Romdeo in his course, he does have a practice exam. When I took that practice exam, the first try, I scored um, in the 70 range. That was my first attempt. So I knew I was going to, it was going to be okay. Like I was understanding the information a little bit more just because when I started taking the Network Plus um, practice exams for the first time, I was scoring in damn near the 50s. So it was, uh, it was a little bit rough at first for the Network Plus. Um, after I did that, I jumped over to Jason Dion's pra practice exams just because those are a little bit more harder, in my opinion. And those are going to be what I say will set you up for success just because it's going to over prepare you 100%. So there was a ton of information in Jason Dion's exams that the information on there was not on the real exam. So it was, it was like I said, it is still valuable information. It just wasn't on the exam. And for me, I started taking the exams about three um, three exams daily. At every wrong answer I would get, I would write down the explanations. And then I would go into ChatGPT and say, hey, explain this into um, a first timer getting into the cybersecurity field. So literally just dumb it down a little bit. After that, I would really understand it. Jason Dion does have two sets of exams. So one is a set one, the other one's a set two. So from there, I was taking the three exams daily. It was about four to five days up uh, leading up to the real exam. So at this point, we're about two weeks in before I started taking the exams, the night before the exam. Andrew Ramdeo has a 50 question security plus kind of exam mock-up. Before each question, I'm sorry, I would pause the video and then I would answer it and then just compare my answers to his. And then I would write down all the wrong ones I got. 
So based off here, I missed out of, I missed eight out of 50. So that's 42. So I made it 84. Just another quick tip. If you're scoring in the, if you're scoring in the 80 range on Jason Dion's test, you're pretty much good to go, to be honest. Like I said, they're, they're overly preparing you on Jason Dion's test, which is a good thing because now that I'm in the actual field, I use that information a ton. So it's not like that information just went away and I never did, never did anything with with it, but I, I know now why he, he overly prepares you because you definitely use that information in the real world. Andrew Rumdale in that particular 50 question video for the security plus, he does have a cram guide at the time I got it for free, but if I'm viewing this correctly, it is $10, 50% off at the time he did have it for free. So I did go ahead and download that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he has it for ten dollars. I did review that the morning of. I did that because I wanted to go over the information that I was just kind of rushing through, and I just needed a reminder. So it was very, very helpful, and it really set me up for success. I want to say about two weeks, two weeks and a half. I did purchase my voucher just because I knew I was gonna. I knew I was gonna take this exam regardless. I didn't. I knew I was gonna take it in pretty much less than a week and a couple of days. So I follow a couple people on X or Twitter, this user called fish finding. So it's fish P H I S H finding F I N D I N G. You can just look them up on X. And of course I'm gonna have that link in the description as well, but every now and then he has vouchers, security plus vouchers and other vouchers for about 35 to 40% off. So I hit him up. I said, Hey, I want a voucher. Um, just a heads up. He's super legit, but I do know he takes it direct payment. So it's not through PayPal or anything like that. It is, I think I paid him through cash app, which I was a little skeptical on, but ended up being, he sent me a voucher, um, within the X DMS. And I used that voucher, went to come to your website, redeemed it. And then of course I got my security plus certification date and set all that up. But like I said, he is legit. This is my first time saying it. I've never said this publicly, but I gave out my network plus score. So I'm gonna give out my security plus score on here. So the, to pass it, it is 750 out of a 900. And what I got is a 775. A couple of things when it comes to this exam, it is 90 minutes. Um, of course it's time. You do have to check in. Well, I checked into a test center. They, they check your belongings. They make you put your phone in a locker. If you are taking it online, that's something you definitely have to look up. Cause I do not know the process on that, but I do. And I have heard of um, Pearson, Pearson view being extra intensive as far as what your surrounding looks like. So what your desk looks like. So if you have anything on your desk, they're going to basically have you show them what's on your desk. And if anything looks suspicious, you're going to have to remove it. So, so I did score 775. I was honestly not surprised, but I knew I was going to score. I knew I was going to pass. I just was like a little eerie just because like the network plus I didn't do the PBQ. So I did two BBQs on this one and I had four PBQ questions. PBQ questions are just questions that you have to, it's, it's a simulation. So you just have to plug and play certain things and you have to just enter information on the screen. So you just have drop downs and other things like that. But if you're here before taking the security plus exam, do me a huge favor, do yourself a huge favor, get eight hours of sleep before the exam, study pretty hard. CompTIA likes to put these questions honestly, where sometimes two answers might be the right answer, but they have which one is the more writer answer. And it gets kind of confusing sometimes. So definitely prepare yourself. Definitely use the links in my, in my, uh, just in the description. And if, like I said, if you need a voucher, a uh, fish finding, he is super legit. If you like this content, do me a huge favor, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like this content and want to see more of it, suggest something to me. I am newly into the field. I've only been on South Island for about two months. So definitely dipping my toes and getting them wet. I do plan on being in this field for a number of years. I don't see myself getting out of this field now that I'm, I'm officially in it. If you want to see the Network Plus video again, I'm going to have it linked right here up at the top. My name is Gilbert Sanchez, newly into the tech field. That sounds fucking good to say. A SOC analyst for a major company here in San Antonio, Texas. Till next time, people. Peace.